<clears throat> this is Julia Whitup with Talk Story Media, and today we have with us Emily Francis, and she knows a lot about the body and the in the uh, well. What do you call that? The brain and the body. The body mind connection. The body mind connection. So tell us more about that, Emily. Well, thank you so much for having me. First of all, I'm so grateful. And um, I am the author of the new book. Tomorrow is the official release date. Oh, so, wow. Okay. So excited. You know, <laughs> when you write a book, it takes a long time to write and then another year to edit. So this yeah. is like two years in the making. Right. Um, so it's called Healing Ourselves Whole. And it's an interactive guide to release pain and trauma by utilizing the wisdom of the body. But I also have to say that the second half of this book is about happiness and joy and the, what I call the fabulous four emotions. So even though the subtitle is about pain and trauma, we really do the other half of the book is on all the good stuff that your body's been storing and okay. learning how to dive into it so that we can make more of that and heal greater. Great. Wow. Okay. That sounds great. And, uh, you're going to be offering some sort of workshop at Shaman's Camp in August. Yeah, yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah, so keep you guys who are watching this, take, keep a eye out for Emily at the TravelingShamansCamp.com. And uh, tell us more about what you're probably going to do. About the workshop at the camp? Yeah, that'd be nice if you could think. Uh, well, I mean, my primary. So let me tell you what my what my main focus in healing is. Okay. Uh, because this is my third book in what I consider like a trilogy of healing. Okay. Um, so the the first book that I wrote that I that was really my life's work was the body heals itself. Oh, and I this like is. That. Yeah, the body heals itself. And the subtitle is how deeper awareness of your muscles and their emotional connection can help you heal. And that is based on why do we carry pain where we carry pain? And that there's a common thing theme among muscle groups that tend to have an emotional component that can be easily overlooked unfortunately, because it shouldn't be easily overlooked. <laughs> the follow-up book to that, which is a match, it's whole body healing. Okay. And whole body healing. See how they have, oh, it yeah, goes this way. Have, uh, okay. Have, yes, yeah. they match. Let me put this together beautifully so that you can see how beautiful. Yeah. Oh, um, they do match, don't they? they? Yeah, they match. One's the front <laughs> of the body, one's the back of the body. Really beautiful how they did this. <clears throat> and um, whole body healing, this one, is uh, the follow-up book. And this is based on who do we come to when we have any sort of issue inside our body? Meaning, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if we were to get a diagnosis or if we weren't, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, I'm choking on something. Let me take a quick <laughs> sip of water. <coughs> That's attractive. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> whole body healing is more of, I believe that to to get your greatest level of healing, you have to treat every aspect of the body. And that means the physical body, the emotional body, the energy body, and the spirit body. So it's not just body, mind, spirit, because I think that people miss that the emotional and the energetic, though tightly woven, are not the same thing. And you need different therapies to treat each of them. So what I did in whole body healing was I compiled all the, as many healing modalities as I could possibly find under each of the different aspects. So in the back of the book is like the, it's all these charts based on what we talked about in the book. So you would go to the chart and go, okay, physical body, these kinds of things, emotional body, these kinds of things, energy body. Because if you have an emotional issue and you keep going to the primary doctor under physical, they're going to keep saying nothing's wrong. All your blood work is healthy. It's in your head. Well, okay. It might be in your head. So you go to a person that understands the head, which is a psychotherapist, a hypnotherapist, an EMDR therapist, a psychiatrist, a psychoanalysis, uh, a psychologist, 
right? Those are the people that treat what might be going on in your head. But a physical practitioner may just end there because each person knows their part. Right. So our part as humans is to go beyond that and understand that every person has their part to play, but we can't stop with just that one. So how do you create your healing team? So that's whole body healing. And then this one, the newest that comes out this week, that comes out tomorrow, healing ourselves whole is the work you do alone. So I start with the muscle groups and what's the common theme. And then how do you get your team for healing? And then this book, what is the work you can do for yourself going into that soft tissue memory, going deep inside of the memories and the wisdom that the body has been holding that you do with no one else. So that's where this book comes in. And honestly, when I started writing this book, COVID had not come to town. COVID was nothing on the radar at the time. Mm -hmm. So when I started writing this book, it was just the drop down into yourself. But the timing has really been incredible because now you want to be alone and you want to be doing the drop down work and you can't get to all those different healers. So you have to learn to become your own. Mm -hmm. And so this work, the thing that I really love and value about this book is that it has, it goes through every somatic emotion. Somatic is a fancy term for body. Mm -hmm. So we go into the body emotions and I go into a very lengthy meditation to take you through all the layers of your body and then into the soft tissues where things have been stored. Okay. And it's about a 15 to 20 minute meditation per chapter. And on my website, starting tomorrow, you can download them for free and listen to the audio version so that you can read what's in there. But instead you can go through those meditations with me and Mark Van Allen is the producer and he's a hypnotherapist and music producer. So the music that he came, and he plays steel guitar. So the music that he came up with is so magnificent. And so they're lengthy. And then after each meditation in the book is a journal and the journal is in the book. And it's not just pages of open notes. It is an incredibly specific journal taking you through all the sensory perception of the meditation that you just did, listening to the messages of your body and documenting it. And so that's the way that we go through this book, which is why it's an interactive guide, because I wanted everything that you need to do to be included in the book. So at your fingertips, instead of like so many authors go, go and get a journal, add this to the practice. No, I'm saying the journal's right here. And honestly, the journal is really specific. So here's like, I can show you some of it, Uh huh. Oh, nice. but it's also as of tomorrow, also available on my website so that you can print off the journals so that if there's not enough room in the book, or if you got it from the public library. So if you are not buying my book and you're renting it from the public library, they don't want you to fill out the journals <laughs> in a public book. Right? right. So because the library association, they've been doing a lot of work with us and they said, can you put the journals on your website so that people can have access to them, but not write in the book. So as of tomorrow, when the book goes live, the audio meditations are downloaded, the journals are able to get downloaded and they're all available to you because I wanted to offer as close as I could to the hands-on healing work that I do to a person to learn to do on their own. own. Could you write down your website in the chat room? Yes, do I have a chat room? Yeah. Where's the chat? <laughs> so not no. technology savvy. Oh, chat, a chat. Okay, here chat. we go. Healing our ourselves whole.com. Healing ourselves whole. So the book is called Healing Ourselves Whole. Okay. And healing ourselves whole.com. And you can go right to it and get to my website. And my, my sweet social media student out here in Malta has been working so hard and tomorrow everything goes live on the website as far as the free stuff to download Mm -hmm. okay great okay and so we've got that healing ourselves whole.com um what else what else do you want to tell what else do you want to tell people Well, um, it really depends. I'm going to tell my name just so that people can find me, Emily A. Francis, because there's so many Emily Francis's out there. And before I got married, I was Emily Smith. So I had to put that A in there because nobody could find me. (laughs) You know, you type it in and there's just so much. Um, 
what I want people to know though, is that you are your greatest healer. And a lot of times we give our power away way too easily Mm -hmm. to other people. And the other part is that when we are coming into our own for healing, you need to keep it close to the vest. Don't do the announcing thing. Try not to do social media announcements until you're well into whatever it is, because you don't want to get lost in a sea of voices that are not your own. And you don't want to get caught up with a bunch of voices that don't know something better than you do. So one of the biggest things that's important to me is learning how to listen to your own wisdom because your body, your instincts, and you need to learn the way that your body communicates, which the journal helps you through. Oh, good. Everybody's bodies communicate slightly differently, Mm -hmm. you know, and we need to learn individually what way our body is speaking to us instead of listening to me saying, Hey, I'm really clear audience. And a lot of things will happen. I'll listen to there's different songs playing that might have nothing to do with the way that you hear things. Mm -hmm. And so now I could cloud and you could walk away and think, Oh, I don't have that ability because it doesn't happen like that. But everybody is a healer. Everybody has a grand wisdom inside their bodies, all over their bodies. It's not just in your mind. It's locked into every cell, memory, tissue, body system. It's the fascia flying through the, the, the blood and the plasma. It's everywhere. You know, it's everywhere in your body. So cellular memory, muscle memory, fascia, it's all. And I believe that there's body memory systems. So I believe that, that doing a repeat patterns, this is where affirmations come in, but you do repeat patterns to remind your body what it is like to work at a healthy optimum level, because the body memory and the body wisdom already knows how to do it, but it may have gotten off the chain a little bit. So we have to help it get back in. Okay. by feeding that body, body memory. But when I say feeding that body memory, it's not about your diet. Your diet is very important, but that's not the part that I play. I play with your muscles. I play with the tissues of the body and that's the wheelhouse that I live in. So I try not to leave that house that often uh, in, in my advice and guidance, but the body has, so I, if I can keep rambling and I hope that's okay, I wanna use this as an example. If a person gets in an accident, let's say an automobile accident, and me as a clinical massage therapist will be working on the body and I'll start asking a series of questions because your muscles physically will tell me where you were looking at the point of impact, where you got hit, what parts got injured, and we can work our way through that. However, when I ask questions to the person on the table, their memory of the situation is very hazy because the gift of the mind is to eject itself from the body to survive. So anybody that um, it's saying my internet connection's unstable, so I hope you could hear me, but they don't have a lot of information about that accident because their mind ejected, but the body does not have an eject button. So whenever anything comes up and happens as an assault, as an accident, as an injury, your body takes that information exactly as fact how it happened when it happened, and it remains in your body. So your mind is open to interpretation, but your body is not. So we have to learn the mind being open to interpretation, go to those people that can help that part, Mm -hmm. but go to the people that can work with your body or learn how to do it yourself Mm -hmm. so that your body can share with you what happened because the stories aren't going to be the same. Right. Right. Wow. That sounds like a very powerful book. All of them, all three of them sound like very important books. Thank you so much for being on our show today. Thank you so much for having me. I've loved it. And I can't wait to be at the camp. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be so cool. Even though you're in Malta, we'll visit you. I am in Malta. (laughs) I up and moved. I moved my husband, my children, and my four animals across the world, never having visited during COVID. And we live in Malta. Oh, my goodness. I won't ask you online. I'll ask you (laughs) another time exactly how that happened. Well, you can go to My Malta Life. That's my blog, My Malta Life. And I started writing last year before we moved of like, is this for real? Are we really doing this? How am I going to get my kids in school? I don't know anything about it. Do they speak English? Um, 
And then the questions of like, how am I going to get my animals? So I, the, when you go to the blog, it's newest to oldest. So okay. if you want to really follow, you go all the way back to page one, but my, and I'll type that here, my Malta life com and it really i take you with me cool <laughs> okay thank you thank you so much whoops wait a minute i i'm gonna turn off the recorder if i can no i guess i just have to answer in the whole thing okay well, i'll call you back okay okay